Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amnesia, and it's pronounced Amnesia, not Amnesia, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. No, it's Amnesia. We're here with this this guy. Me. Him. I don't know who I am anymore. P nah. Jeff. <laughs> oh. Uh, turn some tape. All right. <laughs> we should do that. That's That's funny. Uh, we're gonna call him Jeff for now because you know what? I want to. And if you don't not know why, uh, by the way, is it okay if we talk about you know the elephant in the room for a second? You call me fat? No. Oh, then yeah, sure. Okay. So he has stopped YouTube at least temporarily, if not permanently. He's been kind enough though to allow him to be in my videos, but. Thankfully, I'm. You're not deleting any videos on your channel, are you? No, that's too much. Okay. Then I I will put some playlists up on my channel when I get a chance. But you should seriously check him out. I love our collaborations. Uh, we started with Outlast was the big first collaboration we did, and he called me Jeff in there. Go watch that series if you want more in-depth information on why um, the name stuck and reasons. Go 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 go. Uh, but anyway, we are going to get back into... Oh, wait, first. I made this background, by the way. There's a guy here, which I'll, I'll take a screenshot after we're done. Uh, I don't... Uh, and hopefully put it on screen, because I don't know if people are going to be able to see it. And I know I know you said you couldn't see it. So I'll, I'll send you a screenshot. Ay, 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 ay. There's a pepperoni on the ground. <laughs> um, I'll send a screenshot to you later. But um, there's a guy here, there's a guy over here, and there's a guy over here, and there's trees and trees. So this one may be staying for a couple of videos because I don't want to keep on changing, and I made it. So yeah, because changing's cool and all, but I don't have enough to last probably this entire series. Oh, um. Right. What were we doing? Great question. Something. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Oh, right. Okay. Hello. How's everybody doing here today? Dead. Good scene. That, that pretty fair right right I don't think we've been in this room the strange letter frightened him but it also but it was also the only one which offered some comfort okay yeah not much to say there Indeed. Um. Should they go this way? I did. That was where I died out the window. Mm. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings from all over Europe have been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. An orbiting thing? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. This red tint is annoying. Um barely conscious. Okay. There we go. So we had the key. He paint, painted. He pant, pant, panted heavily, trying to find his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet has been turned over and laid collapsed on the floor. He reaches through the broken glass door and grabs all the sedatives he could find. <clears throat> Hello. I'm I'm grabbing some sedatives.
I'm good. You don't have any comments you'd like to make? No. You... You sure? Yep. Hey, found a new game. You, see, you heard kick the can? How about hit the lamp? That sounds dangerous. And kick the can isn't? You're in a road where you could get hit by cars. Yeah, but now you can set everything on fire. Haha. <laughs> Now nobody can get in. <laughs> Just gonna keep that there. I, I smart boy. For sure, for sure smart boy. Hold on, I wanna make sure. Oh, okay, so this is a puzzle. And I will grab that. Ooh, sneaky little tinderbox. Okay, so we got a letter. I'm gonna read this quickly. Fifth of July. Oh, oh, nope. He'll read it quickly. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Fortnight. Okay, so. Right, so we have to stop playing the game now. Why? Copyright? Nope. Why do we have to stop playing the game now? Because Fortnite. Because what, it's we're playing Fortnite? Humanity. Speak louder. It's a disgrace to humanity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mm. Hello? No this is really home. loud in my ear. Got a gear. What the heck? Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged, and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Good to know. Did I grab those already? Probably not. Maybe you did. Um, well, I grabbed one. 14th of July, oh. 1939. <laughs> I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples, but didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which I sum most disturbing sum up your me. note, please. A sound Thank you. Defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been my voice? awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat His voice? of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow I shall your visit voice? my physician, Dr. Tate, in your hope voice. that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Hallelujah. No voice. Yay. Okay. Alright, nap time. So, right, I think we were gonna find... We had to find another item, but... Um... 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Powers They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle. Their skin Ooh, maybe this is actually interesting. Oil. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. That note was actually interesting and short. Oh, man, fancy. Oh. Well, this is not fun. I don't like those sounds. I'm sure it's fine. In this game, fine is a term you really don't like, you don't want to be using. <gasps> Finds oil things like must stop everything. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me, just, uh... Huh. Okay. You did a thing. Good job. Oh. Obviously, I didn't do enough. Mm -hmm. So the good news is I did one thing. Oh. The bad news is I don't know what to do now. Hmm. Something else, probably. You know, we should give you a, a Nobel Prize. Sure. I mean, they're, they're probably worth a decent amount, I don't know. <laughs> Said no scientist ever. Said no scientist ever. Okay. <laughs> I I tried to be not funny but funny. Okay. So I don't know what this does. Maybe something, maybe nothing. I'm guessing something. Looks to be Robin Noodles. Roman numerals. I wonder if it has something to do with the machine at the bottom. Could be. I want to go take a look and see if there's any numbers on there. Maybe it has something to do with a machine for pigs or something. I don't know. Maybe eh, no. Not to name any specific animals. No, no, not 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 pigs. No. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Not. That game though, it's it's can be scary, but this one just seems a whole lot more scary. Mm hmm. Okay, so I don't see any Roman noodles. I don't have any wheels either. Unless, does that count? No. Please don't tell me it's, it's. It's not these things, is it? No. No, there. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> Ah, shoot. I was throwing one around. Oh. There you are. 
Just abuse the thing we need. There it is. It's a giant metal wheel. I'm sure it's fine. Uh. It's... I'm just ignoring these sounds in the background, by the way. If you don't hear me reacting to them, it's because I'm trying to ignore them so that they go away and never bother me again. I'm not entirely sure that's how that works, but... You know what? Do I care? Yes. Okay. What? What, what am me missing? Something. Um. Oh, it's missing those things, isn't it? Of course. The, the, the thing with the fuses. Oh. It's missing two fuses. Right. But the thing is, I we went to that area already, and we got one of them. I wonder <laughs> if it just needs to be in the right spot. Maybe. Maybe it's one of those things where we only need one, but it has to be in the right spot. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm wasting time. Watch it not be involved with this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that thing upstairs, or the, the one level up, the levers, has anything to do with anything. One more try, unless we're supposed to have three, but I don't know where the other two are. Yeah. Nope, okay. So I'm gonna go up and try to get the puzzle solved with the, uh... You know, there's, there's probably a clue somewhere, but... You know, I'm dumb, so I'm just gonna... Let's brute force it. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh. There's too many possibilities. Pressure. Okay, well... I think I'm gonna have to go back. Unless you have like an operating manual somewhere. The strange letter frightened him. Something. Um, I swear, hold on. Steam setup function four phase amplitude. The meter should read up eight and down eight. So, okay, there you go. See, I'm a genius. Not really. <laughs> Just turns around and walks right back in. Professor Taylor I mean, was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. I'd be lying if I said I'd never done that before. So eight up, eight down. Okay, so let's see. Got to do some math. Three, Three, six, five, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, that's four, nine. So if I turn that down, that down, that down, and that down, six, seven, eight, nine, five. That's nine, nine, right? I four five tell. five six seven eight nine. Oh, three three is six seven eight nine. Yeah, nine nine. Yeah, so you need eight. 
<laughs> anyway. <coughs> um. So five, six, seven, eight. So I. Hold on. Oh, I so did it. The flow's even stable. I may have sworn. I do apologize, but it was for the joke. It worked really well. Now you've got a nice even flow. I would have died if something was behind that door. I didn't even think. The door was closed. I was like... Okay, now? Fudge. Alright, well, what, was, what else was there? I think, I feel like you're gonna need those rods. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity Steam... Trinity, no. I am bet it's a triangle, because the triangle stands for Trinity. Oh, uh, yeah, that would make sense. I'm... So. I have it on the square right now, which is for, uh, for Trinity. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, now let's go down and test it. Unless it meant Trinity because of the three yeah. fuses, then I don't know. Yeah. This is why you always RTFM. Read the bleeping manual. Oh, wow. Well, I'm just going to freeze midair. It's fine. Bleed steam flow cycle. What would that mean? There are only two spirit rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. I think I may have missed a couple. Mm. So we're going to go back and look for it. Right. Unfortunately. Mm. These things happen. He flipped through the book. I have already read this. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Why? Why what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is it doing this? Whatever do you mean? Seriously, can you hear it or no? No, I can't hear it. It's very quiet. It's it's having an audio issue. Nice. With the music. So die again, right? I mean... Oh! Sorry? That was a disgusting apple. I thought it was an eyeball. For a second. Same thing. Okie dokie. I was hoping it'd be in there, even though it didn't look like it. Mm. Um. Yeah. Not reading that. That does not seem important. No. Oh. 
ほほほほほ I am not clicking on that again. Um. Hmm. So there isn't another one back here. Well, that's an issue, isn't it? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, just just a bit of an issue. Oh wait! Note the mach that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. So it's quite an issue. Okay, so hold on. Then we have to read. There are two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. So I think we got the one from here, but now we need to find the storage for the elevator machine. Elevator machinery. Mm. Bye. What's <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I've also read this one already. this how about we go to the place that's called storage nah I can't be right you sure yeah. it's right near the what go ahead there's probably a room labeled like murder room that's probably what it is <laughs> ah, I see I see so murder room you mean storage fuck this seems fine. Oh. Yes, let's just halt. I must... I, I want to read diary entry. Nope. I want to read. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. I'm glad that's what you wanted to tell me. Okay, then. Okay. I, uh... Instrumenta? Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. Please, let me go! I won't tell anyone, I swear! I hey, it's Lime Manila. <laughs> no! That, that's Please, freaky. Okay. Well, I all of a sudden am I hearing her in so many different games? It's a Lonnie? Stop it, Lonnie. You're not gonna scare me today, Lonnie. Are you sure about that? She already has. Mm -hmm. Oh. You can't Lonnie! Go Please stop. <laughs> um. Wouldn't we just go through here? Evidently not. How's that working for you? Oh. Well, let's hope I don't need any more oil. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is fine. You'll mm. be fine. Mm. You're fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I 
Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the floor oh. drain. <laughs> the flood drain. I can stress enough how important it is to mix your hand with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosives. So you can... <laughs> For the beast camp, I make too much vats in the next room for the ingredients. Okay, I see where this is going. Blow it up. <laughs> I don't like this. Why not? It's great. Is that a thing on the table? No. Oh, never mind. It looked green for a second, so I thought it was one of the few Shh. things. Oh, I heard something slushing around. Ooh. Hi. Oh, oh. Drill part? Uh oh. You know what? I think I know what's gonna happen. Something you see this good? right here? Nope. Yep. Okay. Been rusted shot. Okay. I think we have to drill open that. Hmm. Like poke a hole in it. Right. Thanks. Thanks, find all the parts first. Jeez. So helpful. Yeah, well that seems like something to show you when you have all of the parts already. Oh, whatever. Your chair scared the hell out of me. Surprise. Right, did I miss a drill part in here? Someone burning bricks? Lonnie! <laughs> Stop! Believe. Oh! Hallelujah! I appreciate that. I'm gonna get out of here. But you're having such a fun time. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Did I mention mm -hmm? Uh, I don't think so. You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Me no like. Why not? Me no like at all. Wonder why I stopped playing this game. <laughs> uh, this video started off so well.
I don't like those sounds. Why not? To contain mixtures of all sorts. This is gonna be my escape to hiding. Actually, the room over here probably would be better. Mm -hmm. My heart's beating out of my chest. I know the monster's gonna come. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh. Time to panic. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, staying alive. Staying alive. Lonnie, stop it! <laughs> Please. You're fine. I really don't like Hello Oh there's blood on the ground Oh nice Okay. Bye. I like that's a hint. I'm not standing close. How how do I get it to go off? That's a good question. Throw something at it now. <gasps> you right? Uh. Hold on, tiny box Tim. <laughs> Literally. Oh. oh. I did good. Okay, nothing gonna attack me during this. I hope. Lonnie! Was that it? That was worth it. Lonnie, jeez, it was pitch black. Probably. Probably walking towards your demise. Demise? <gasps> Alright. <clears throat> Told you. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's how I feel, Lonnie. Yep. The good news is we're at 40 minutes. <laughs> 41 minutes. Ooh. So, I'm gonna die inside now. Woo. Oh my gosh. Um, I do wanna test to make sure it starts back up at the same point. Okay, that's enough testing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, this is probably why I stopped playing this game. Nah. It was that guy in the background there, so I guess it's kind of well-themed. Mm. You know, it's kind of funny. I opened a door and I saw him, and in this I have a door opened and he's there. Was that a... Should I, should I have taken that as a warning? <laughs> okay, well... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the, the video now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.